Welcome to lesson two of my Python video tutorial series. In this lesson, you will learn about three common data types you will need to work with, and you will learn how to output information to the screen using the output function. Let's look at the three data types first. Our first data type is a string. This can be defined as any combination of letters, numbers, or symbols displayed exactly as written. Our second data type is an int or an integer. This is a whole number, for example, 22 or 47. Our third data type is a float. This is a floating point number, more commonly known as a decimal number. Let's look at the output function now and see how it works. The purpose of the output function is to display information on the screen. This information can be instructions to the user, data stored in variables, or the results of a calculation. The output function is written as print open bracket close bracket. This command on its own prints a new blank line. To print a string, we put the print function, but we put speech marks inside the brackets and the text we wish to display inside the speech marks. To display an integer, we do not need speech marks, just the number in the brackets. The same applies for a float we only need the number. Notice the colour coding. The print statement is purple, the brackets are black, strings are green and numbers are also black. Let's look at some more examples. If I type print 21 plus 22, an addition is performed. Typing print 8 asterisk 2 performs the calculation 8 times by 2. Typing 10 slash 2 performs a division calculation. The command print 10 equals equals 10 returns the value true, as double equals means it is equal to. I will include a cheat sheet at the end of this video with further commands. Now let's try some challenges. In challenge one, you need to write a program which will output the poem One Fine Day in the Middle of the Night. Please pause the video now, attempt the challenge, making sure you complete it in the programming window, not the shell window, and then resume to see the answer when finished. Pause now. Here is the answer to challenge one. Notice how it only uses the output function and nothing else. Let's move on to challenge two. In this challenge, you need to write a timetable for your school day. Read the slide and attempt to complete it. Pause now. Here is my answer to challenge two. It is very much like challenge one, except it has a few fancy touches, such as the title at the top. Let's have a look at the third and final challenge of this video. In this challenge, your job is to work out the average of the five numbers listed. Read the hints carefully and attempt the challenge. Pause the video now. The big difficulty with this task is the number of brackets. The print statement always has brackets, so imagine it like a box and everything gets put inside. If you do this, you can largely ignore them. Finally, here is a cheat sheet with a range of commands you can use for reference. See you in the next video.